Today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a 3x3. The 3x3 is, I wouldn't say it's a super easy cube, but it's not very difficult once you get the hang of it. The first thing I'm going to teach you is basic notation. Notation is a movement, such as the movement R prime would be a capital R with an apostrophe, and that would just be moving the right side counterclockwise like this. And then just a regular capital R by itself would just be right clockwise. And then there's also U, which stands for up, and U prime, and F for front, and F prime, and then left, or L, and L prime, and then there's D, which is down, and down prime, and back, which you don't really use, but back, prime, and back. So let's get started. I'm just going to scramble my cube up real quick. So the first step is to get all these white center pieces or edge pieces lined up with their own center pieces. So we're going to solve the white cross using these edge pieces, which is like this piece, which has white and orange. And make sure that when you're doing this, you're lining it up with their center pieces so that you aren't messing it up and then it won't solve right. So just look around until you find one like this green one so what you're gonna do is you're gonna move it to its spot which would be here and so we're gonna have to turn the bottom half like this and that did push the center piece out but that's okay because we're just gonna move it back so this is a very easy case all you have to do is turn it up like that and then just move the center piece back so now we have two edge pieces lined up with their center pieces and then you'll have this case where it doesn't really line up you can't really turn it in so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it off to the side like this then you're going to move the top like this and then you're just gonna put it in a spot so now we have three that are all in their spots and the last one is right here so this is a very easy case it's on the bottom but that's okay because we're just going to turn it up like that. So now we have all the centerpieces lined up with their own centerpieces. We just got to turn the top like that. And so the next step is to get these corners in their correct spots. So just look for a corner like this one. You'll notice that it's in a corner spot, but it's not in the right one and it's not even facing the right direction. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it out of its spot. And then we're going to find where it actually goes, which would be right here. It's white, blue, and orange. So we've got to move it over to the white, blue, and orange section. And this is a very easy case. All we have to do is move the slot where it goes down and then put it in its slot. And we're going to have to do this all the way around. So there are a ton of different cases that you can have. Like this is a little bit different. Its spot is right here but we can't move its slot down without moving it out of the way. So we're going to have to move it, bring its slot down, and put it in its slot. So that's pretty simple. But you aren't going to have cases that are that simple every time. Like this case. This is facing down, but its slot is facing up. This isn't as simple as if the centerpiece was, because all you got to do is turn it. But this you can't put it in its spot because then it's not correct so what you're going to do is you're going to do as if you were going to do that but you're going to move it one more time over so it's over here now and not in here so you're just going to move its slot back up now you can put it under its slot and then just put it in its slot and so the last one is right here and it's the same exact thing you just move its slot down move it two spaces bring its slot back up, move it under its slot, and put it in its slot. So now we've got the entire white face solved. So next we're going to put these center, these edge pieces into their spots and solve the whole middle layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our first algorithm, which is a set of notational moves. So to get this piece into here, we're going to have to use the algorithm to put it into the right spot. And that algorithm is U, R, 
U prime, R prime, U prime, front prime, U front. And see now it's in its correct spot. So now we just find another one like this one and you put it above a spot to where it's lining up with its colors. And since now we have to put this piece on the left, we have to do the exact opposite of what we did. So instead of moving it like this to get it out of the way, we're going to move it this way. So it's away from both spaces that it has to go into. So you're instead of doing right, you're going to do left prime. So what we've done is we've done U prime, left prime, U, L, U, F, U, F prime. See, now it's in its correct spot right there. So now we've put two of the pieces in their correct spots. Now we have this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the one for the right this time. So it's U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F, U, U, F. So now we've got another one in its spot. So now we just got to look for the last one, which is here. So we have to move it up. So we got to move it over so that it's lined up with its spot. Now notice, be careful that you do not put it above here because it's the green is not lined up with the orange. And if you do that and do the algorithm, it puts it in backwards. So we can't do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to line it up with its spot. And then we're going to do the one for the right again. And by the way, if you do put it in its right spot or it's already in the right spot, all you got to do is take this white corner out like this. And instead of just putting it back exactly like it was, we're going to put it in this way. So see now the centerpiece is not in its spot. So you're going to line it up with the greens and then you're going to do the algorithm to put it on the right side. And that is U R U prime R prime U prime front prime U front. And see now we've got all our centers line up. So the next step is to make the yellow cross. So to make the yellow cross, it's only re going to require one algorithm, but there are three different cases you may have. You may have it to where it's like an L shape. You can have it to where it's a yellow cross, or like right now where it's just the yellow center. Right now we don't even need to worry about the corners, just pretend they aren't there. So the algorithm to get it into the L, so once it's a center, once you do the algorithm, it turns it into an L. And then when you do the algorithm for the L, it turns it to a horizontal line. And then once you do it for that, it turns it into the cross. And it's not going to be a center every time. It varies. So the algorithm is front, right, up, right prime, U prime, front prime. So now it's a backwards or an L. But we need to turn it to where it's a backwards L. And then we're going to do the algorithm again. Front, right, up, right prime, U prime, front prime. And so now it's a horizontal line. So we just have to do the algorithm one more time, and it will be a cross. So just do front, right, up, right prime, U prime front prime. See now it's a cross and we don't need to worry about the corners until this step that we're about to do. So this next step we're going to do is we're going to orient the white, the yellow cross. So right now we have the blue and the orange in their correct spots. So now we just have to make the red and the green in their correct spots. And how we're going to do that is we're going to do an algorithm. You need to put the orange and the blues in the back and you're just going to do this algorithm r u r prime 
you are you two are prime you and see now all these edge pieces are oriented so the next step is we got to get all these corner pieces to be in the right spots but they probably won't all be facing the correct direction so you're just gonna look around the cube until you find one that it's in its correct spot so we've got one right here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it to where it's in this top right corner and you're gonna do this algorithm left prime you are u prime l u r prime u prime now see all these corner pieces are correct now they might not be correct the first time you do it so you may have to do the algorithm again but now we're on to our last step and that's to get them all facing the correct direction now yours might not be like mine where you have them all not facing the right direction but mine are not. So we're just going to do this algorithm till they're all in facing the direction. So what we're going to do, you have to do the algorithm over and over and over till it's facing the right direction. Then you turn the top, do it over and over and over, turn the top, do it over and over and over until it's solved. So the algorithm is R prime D R D 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 Now don't turn the whole cube just turn the very top layer and do it again R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D one more time R prime, D prime, R, D. Then you just turn the top layer and you do the algorithm till it's completely done. So once you've got all the corners facing the right direction, the last step is definitely the easiest. All you have to do is line it up. And now it's all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.